Sabbath and Mutagayarat are very important. And one of the challenges of our time is to identify, you know, the Titanic sinking. What do you take on the lifeboat? Islamic civilization is, is over. May Allah revive it again, but it's over. And so how do we, what do we put on the lifeboat? What do we need to save and preserve from this religion? Because most of it is gone. And intelligent people are people that, that focus on the most important things, triaging. Like in, in, in an in a emergency room, if somebody comes in and they've got blood all over their face uh, and, and another person comes in, he's got a headache, you treat the man with the blood all over his face first, right? Now, it could be the guy with the headache's got a terminal cancer and the other guy just has a cut that looks a lot worse than it actually is. But just on the outward, you should go by what, what's, what's most important. And that's what's most important for us, is to focus on those things, looking at those things that we need to preserve, that without it, we don't have a religion. And one of the most important things is just adab. Uh, because the Prophet said, I was only sent to perfect good character. Innama, that means only. Innama bu'itu li utammima makaram al I was only sent to complete virtuous character. So if we've lost character, who cares how short your robe is? Who cares whether you're clipping your mustache? Who cares whether you're using a siwak if you don't have just common human decency? And this is the type of stupidity of a lot of our community that, and that is not to belittle in any way the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. But you have got it so inverted, if that's the way you're thinking, that God help us. Because these people have caused so much damage in our communities and for our religion by their absolute stupidity. And that's the only word that could be used. I don't know of any other word that works. And hamaka is a real problem. This Sayyidina Isa, in one of our traditions, he said, Allah gave me the ability to treat lepers and blind people, but not stupidity. So, it's a big problem. And the best thing you can do with stupidity is just try to isolate it and mitigate it. But when it becomes a norm, when you've got so many stupid people in your community doing stupid things, then we're in big trouble because then the religion looks like an idiot's religion. And there's a lot of people that that's how they view Islam now. I mean, I saw an article online that said a uh, panel of Saudi scientists have declared that a woman is a mammal. And it was a whole article and it was totally written straight-faced. But it was ridiculous. You know, it was like an onion, you know, the onion in America, one of the... It, but I read all the... Um, comment, they all thought it was real. Like they all thought, these Saudis, they're so stupid, they don't know that women are, I mean, of course a woman's a mammal, so, so. <laughs> you know, but this, this is what we're dealing with. I mean, people actually believed it was a real article. So this, this is a big problem because we've got so many people out there now in our community representing us like that, that people aren't shocked when they read an article like that, they actually think it's real. 